Hey, Sangrias from the Hillamos here with an achievement walkthrough for Gambare Super Strikers. Difficulty is 2 out of 10, 17 offline achievements, takes you about 3 to 4 hours. <clears throat> the no missable stuff, uh, developed by Reese Games, published by Rattle Like Games. Released on February 26, 2020, for the price of $9.99 US dollars. The game is also available on PlayStation 4 and Vita with the 6 trophy region stacks. <clears throat> this game is a little bit more expensive than your typical ride like also takes a little bit longer I'm gonna walk you through it as best as I can go into the option and choose easy difficulty mode That's your first thing to do start a new game in story mode <clears throat> and Create whatever your character to your heart's desire. I just did one with the default Go into tutorial and do all the stuff. There are six tutorial in total very short just follow it and then quit out and you'll unlock an achievement for doing all the tutorials. The achievements themselves is for just playing through all the matches. There's 14 matches in story mode. Losing does not penalize you any in any way. I'm going to show you a little bit of the first game. We're going to use a strategy <coughs> uh, shared to me by uh, Chin Dakta. Uh, he gave me <laughs> some great tips and it's amazing. Uh, it'll definitely let you win the game quite easily but if you do happen to lose just try the match again you'll be leveled up you'll be stronger or much easier to execute this tactic tactic with so this game is a tactics game plus a soccer so what you're going to do is <clears throat> you get two two moves whether that is movement uh, tackling um, the passing, shooting, whatever. So, <coughs> first match is very easy. You can see the success. If the success is very low, don't try it. Like right now, I did it with the 39%. And of course, the pass did not work and I lost the ball. <coughs> uh, if a pass fails, like that happened there, the guy will not be able to move for the rest of the turn, even if he has some turns left. This was actually a particularly bad one, and I'm showing you a really bad game played. Um, just to give you a little bit of an example of how the game plays. I'm trying to get a goal in, uh, in order to do some stuff. So, okay, I'm gonna move. If I can try to shoot, but it has very low success. Even movement, if there's a guy like uh, around to tackle you, then I can't move. <clears throat> it's not a, I think this is an offside. Let me let me see if that works. Okay, it didn't. Uh, there's a rule called offside that you should be aware of. You can't you can't pass to someone who is like right next to the goalkeeper, for example. There should success 100%, which means it'll always succeed. <clears throat> and there you go. Even though the goalkeeper tried to block, it was too powerful, and he couldn't block it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try and build up a level and we're going to play this like an SRPG game. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to steal that ball by having these guys like trying to block this guy with the <clears throat> with the ball there. Okay. We'll block and then we'll pass it around amongst ourselves to pass the time. So here we go. Um, we're gonna move around a little bit uh, so that we're closer uh, very far passes usually fail so <clears throat> you press LTRT you learned all this in the tutorial okay so we're, we're just going to pass it around with uh, amongst our people <clears throat> uh, don't try if the success rate is like 60% it'll get blocked I'm trying to move this guy a little bit closer so that easier for success. If it's like 95% success, there's very little chance the uh, ball will be blocked. <clears throat> so you can try for that. Basically anything you do, whether it's tackling, passing, other than moving. Moving doesn't give you experience. But if you do like tackling or anything, you will get some experience. And because of that, <coughs> you'll get some, you know, 
at the end of the game you will level up and the, we're, we're spending this time right now so that we have very overpowered players for the next few matches since we have to play the uh, seven matches to the final and then we'll go we'll, and then we'll become the like the best in japan then we'll move on to tackling the world so we'll play like against south korea germany uh, argentina and stuff like that all the way to brazil and now we are at the end we i skipped a bunch like and uh, we're still passing stuff around this is the, my last turn final turn as you can see in the middle two two second half and then one minute so uh, this turn will end after i do all the passing around and when i end the turn because we we had that one goal the score is a one zero we're going to win <clears throat> This process, <clears throat> I cut down the video to like three minutes, but this entire process took about 25 minutes. So um, maybe you want to just do it for the first half. Um, I, I think I really overdid it. I was very overpowered. Uh, you will see how much levels I gain. Um, normal gameplay, you might get like three levels. But you'll see what happens here uh, in a little bit. Check this out. Okay, you should unlock an achievement. It's not shown on the screen. Here we go. We are level one, going up to level eight. Alright, so we are really overpowered now. Well, we'll, let's go out and equip some stuff that we just learned. What we want is our forwarder, Yukio, or hero, to have the death shot ability, uh, super shot ability, sorry. Death shot comes in a later um, World Cup area. Yeah, I'm just checking the formation. I want the guys in the very front of the that will shoot to get these abilities. You want the uh, just to keep something because they all help. Like uh, they'll have like tackling abilities. They'll have something. So every match you're gonna get some item. So make sure to keep them. And uh, when it has the ability if you do well in a game that ability will be earned permanently on that player and you can equip the item to someone else and he, the player should still be able to do the ability so here we go what we're going to do is we're gonna try for like super shot using this guy because now we are much much higher level it's very easy to get past so we want a couple of guys in the front to block or you know to be able to shoot okay there now we'll move forward and make the shot <clears throat> using the super shot ability that we that is granted by the item success rate 95 percent is usually okay so go for it okay here we go success rate 95 again but uh, i didn't use the the shot sorry but yeah <clears throat> you have a I, I maybe i don't have the super shot yet but uh, how to use the ability you press rb when you do have an ability you press rb and then you shoot it in all right so now we're going to take the ball back and then we'll do some tricky move to uh, 
make this game a lot faster okay this is how we're going to play most of the matches so here we go now we stole the ball we're gonna pass it to passes to one of the corner <clears throat> we're gonna try and get it into the corner get the guy with the ball into the farthest corner possible uh, it could be the your side corner it could be the opponent side corner any corner is okay uh, go for the closest one and you'll see why we're trying to do this we want to block as much as possible so we don't get the ball stolen okay we're ready to get into the corner and this is a kind of bug in the game um <laughs> chin doctor developed this strategy and shared it with me it's an amazing one i don't think i would have figured this one out on my own to be honest so uh, much thanks to the tip <clears throat> all right so only problem here is that if you do get the ball stolen, then you, in this case, we are right next to our own goal. So it can be a little bit dangerous. Okay, so we're all set up actually. We don't have to do anything else. I'm just doing this for fun there. Keep skipping turns. He can't get anywhere close. There is no way to tackle someone without the ball. There is no way to switch places. <coughs> okay, so here is another strategy that sometimes works. So in case the the um, the opposing team after you make the goal passes the ball back, that is a very conservative team, and he'll, they will see that your stats are so much higher. And they will never pass forward. Like they will never move around. They will never pass forward. And you can just keep skipping turns. This is a, another strategy that may work. You'll have to find the strategy that works because um, it depends all on your abilities and your levels and all that stuff. Uh, so depending on how you played, um, could be different from the way that I did. But the corner strategy is one that works all the time. And it always works. After uh, third match, you'll be faced against these uh, ne uh, these ninja guys. You want the dry boots because it's gonna be raining. With the dry boots, rain will not have any impact. So this is important. You want to sw you want to switch to dry boots just for this match against Tsukinami. and then do the same thing that you normally do for. Winning using the corner uh, cornering because these guys are all good in the rain. They all have they've been like practicing in the rain, so <clears throat> yeah, they will be very aggressive. They will not just be passive and skip the turn. So you'll have to steal it and then uh, go to the corner. Here we'll make the shot. Okay, I think I'm gonna do the super shot here. Yeah, that's the super shot. We'll put that in there. Again, okay. corner strategy doesn't matter. Um, super shot is very strong, it'll still go in. <clears throat> okay, let's cut to these other matches. Okay, so now that we're done with the regular Japan matches, we're gonna face against a uh, world other countries like south korea germany as i mentioned uh, and the field will be bigger and you'll be able to move a little bit farther also you'll be controlling 11 players instead of six but the basic strategy remains the same we're going to go as close to the goal as possible we're gonna try for a ability shot this guy fumi whatever has a dash shot ability already this shot is <laughs> exactly what it is if they fail to block a death shot they're dead uh, they can't do anything for the entire game there's yeah, other stuff 
uh, abilities like drowsy tackle if this one is successful you steal the ball and the other guy goes to sleep so a lot of fun stuff it's <clears throat> interesting game so I, I think I cut a little bit again anyway yeah, you, we're gonna just keep going we're gonna pass to some place where there's nothing we're gonna get the ball okay so, because the field is bigger I'm trying to get other people up I'm having a little bit of trouble getting this goal in uh, my guys are like super overpowered, but the Japan team consists of players that you fought against. It's like a all-star team. You, you just saw the death shot uh, ability, we have it. But the success is only 10%, so we're not going to try for that. <clears throat> we need to get closer. Very low success in going that way. But we're gonna try for another. But we can only go to there. Can't go any closer with the line dribble. Let's see if now we can make a shot that is a little bit more successful. 92%. I'm gonna go for it. It's a death shot. <clears throat> Here we go. And boom. 51 48 we, even with the super safe ability that is not enough we're going to win and there we go there's one goal after that of course we're gonna steal the ball back and then go for the corner strategy it's much easier to do with the 11 players and uh, ability to move fast further much much easier just uh, tackle this guy, get the ball, we're going to pass it back. Tackle success is kind of low. Doesn't mean it's going to fail, it's just a low percent of success. 81% likely to succeed there, so we try. Okay, we're going to pass it back. Yeah, after this, um, the basic st strategy stays the same. Uh, fourth match gonna be against Argentina, and that is uh, another special match, like the sim similar to the one we had with the uh, reigning match in the Japan Cup. It's a match where the setting is very hot, and <clears throat> in order to <clears throat> play better you get some items that helps you called cool boots and you want to have that equipped on your strikers once you get the thing into the corner it doesn't matter whether you know it's too hot or whatever but <clears throat> until you can get in uh, you do have to get one goal in so and you have to be able to get into the corner somehow so cool, having the cool boots will drain your stamina a lot slower and uh, allow you to make that goal much easier i didn't know about it and it was very hard for me to be honest so winning this german match you'll see after you get to the win screen you're gonna get Uh, cool boots, you unlock them. Oh, by the way, I forgot to talk about a couple of achievements. After every win, you're gonna get some stars based on your success with the objects. Here, I won the match that's one star, so 14 star is pretty much guaranteed. The other stars are like for not giving any goals. Just for this uh, match against Argentina, make sure you have the cool boots on well, again. And then this is the final match against Brazil. Once again, I've successfully got it into the corner with 1-0 and I will just win the match here. And that unlocks the final achievement and uh, 10 star, of course, you're guaranteed 20 stars um, from my testing. 
you're likely to get it. Uh, if you don't, just search for one of the easier objectives and finish it. You can check the objectives by pr uh, pressing <clears throat> Y, I believe, on the match screen. All right, so that's it. That's the end, and I just got the final achievement. I already unlocked the 20 star achievement in the previous match. I have 23 stars, I believe. Yeah, so I used the death shot here, so I got another uh, star. So I ended up with 23, and so even without using some of these abilities, uh, you should be able to get 20 stars without too much charm. Actually, 25, as you can see. So <clears throat> you should have no problems getting 20 stars without even trying. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks again to Chindapta for providing the strategy. And stay tuned to the hidden levels for more.